This is a quick look at a signal generator I've been building using some bits left over from my HF transceiver project. It uses an SI5351 phase lock loop clock chip driven by an Arduino Mega. This is the uh, front panel you see. So now I'm just going to switch it on. There, there it is. This particular little signal generator has a sweep facility which I'm going to turn on. It's uh, designed to sweep from the contents of memory 1 to the contents of memory 2. Memory 1 is currently at 1 meg, memory 2 is at 10.7 megs. The sweep rate at the moment is 10 kcs but I can change that. I'll just uh, increase it. 100 kcs, 1 meg and then back to 1 hertz. When I stop it it'll be there, I start it, it'll start from that spot from that frequency. I'll just keep going round and round. Very simple bit of programming involved. Here's a view of the output on the Crow. It's uh, putting out about 6 volts peak to peak. There's some uh, buffer amplifiers in there and I've got it set at 100 kilohertz scanning. I'll just stop it, it'll stop there. Start again. Stop. Start. As you see it stops and starts on the last frequency that the scan arrived at. The generator covers from 10 kilohertz to 54 megs. I can select the tuning speed using the rotary encoder. That's 1 meg steps all the way down to 1 hertz steps. I'll just uh, go down to 10 kilohertz or thereabouts. There's uh, 10k and we reach down to 10 kilohertz. So there, there's the waveform at 10 kilohertz. I'll just uh, go up and kind of move in 1 meg steps just so that you can see it quickly. That's uh, two and a half megs. That's 10 megs. Uh, two me that was two megs before. That's uh, 23 megs. 25. I'll spend the crow out. As we get higher in frequency, you'll see the waveform starting to round off due to the uh, re frequency response of the buffer amplifiers following the SI5351. The SI5351 puts out a reasonably good square wave. Um, well past 54 megs. There's 54 megs. And we can have a quick look at the harmonics that are left. Shouldn't be too many left. So uh, that's uh, 50 megs per division. That's 50. That'll be uh, 108. That'll be the third harmonic. 160 something. As we go down in frequency, you can see more of the harmonics pop up due to the square wave response, square wave output of the chip. If you want uh, nice sine waves out of a signal generator, probably the best thing to do with this device is to phase lock a sine wave oscillator to the uh, SI5351. Then you'll get a, a sine wave out of the uh, analog oscillator, which is uh, frequency uh, accurate driven by the phase lock loop in this signal generator rather than uh, a whole stack of filters. Here's a quick look inside. The Arduino Mega is actually mounted upside down on this circuit board. Uh, power supply. This board was provided by Glenn McNeil uh, as part of his project and I'm using it here. This is the uh, phase lock loop chip. A couple of 2N5109 uh, amplifiers. One's an amplifier and one's an emitter follower. The emitter follower is used to drive the attenuators. It's 10 dB, 20, 20, 20 using small SMD uh, resistors. It seems to work quite well. There will be a cover over that to provide some shielding. The only, uh, the other addition I've got to uh, add now is a, uh, an AD8307 uh, RF detector on the output which will feed the display and give me an, the output level in dBm.